All right, blue protocol. I have heard that this is similar to Genshin Impact. We'll see. I need to put my camera back. There we go. And it's kind of like, uh, this looks like Genshin Loki. They also kind of look like Hilo Curls. I mean, it really does look like, like an HD Genshin impact. At least the world does. The combat just looks really similar. Dude, look how pretty that is, though. Do you still play Genshin? Not really, no. I still enjoy Genshin's gameplay a lot, but I got really bored of the story. I think it's just because I started, like, stopped paying attention to the story. Breath of the Wild is the blueprint. How is this similar to Breath of the Wild? It's just an open world game. It has a lock-on mechanic. I wonder who this is made by, too, is the thing. It also, in comparison to Genshin, seems a lot more focused on, like, single targets. Like, Genshin is a lot of, like, 1v4s. Dude, that is really similar to that one flying thing in Genshin that you had to hit the core. The trailer's quiet? Hey, what? The Ruin Hunter. I can turn it up a little bit. This is a PC game, I believe. Oh, yeah, there's no, there's no music or anything. I mean, it's just a gameplay demo. I think they just wanted people to focus on like what they're showing off. I always don't know how to feel. See, that looks so much like a Hilly Curl from from Genshin. Like it's got the same little wooden stick bat too. Um, about like worlds where it's just like there's nothing on the ground, and it's just like. It's just space, you know what I mean? I just feel so weird. Like the gameplay has to be immaculate if there's not like, if it's kind of empty like that. Hey, it looks pretty. See, like here's another single target. It's like a really buff bear, I guess. Kung Fu bear. The only thing to do combat, uh, I don't think there's a ton of details about it yet. Okay, here's the thing. My biggest problem with Genshin actually wasn't the story. My biggest problem with Genshin Impact is the lack of integration that multiplayer actually has. Genshin Impact has multiplayer. And the multiplayer that Genshin has is people can join your world or you can join other people's worlds and do like small dungeons and stuff and like select things, but that's kind of it. I always thought the biggest thing Genshin missed out on was like big raids and stuff. Like there like you, there was just like no point in, I mean, having people like to help you grind dungeons helped a lot. But aside from that, like there wasn't like, there were no events that you could really do with friends that like felt impactful. I guess it's just because it's not an MMO, technically. Genshin is technically an ARPG. It's not supposed to be MMO. 
But I thought it would work well as something like that. So Elden Ring? Bro, what are you talking about? So Elden Ring? How did Elden Ring get brought in? You need to play WoW? I I actually I don't play WoW solely because I think it would be way too addicting and I don't want to be addicted to WoW because I wouldn't make YouTube content on it and I don't think it'd be a good stream game and I think it would just suck my soul away. That's why I don't play WoW. The only problem I had with, with was no end game stuff. Oh, Genshin? Yeah. Genshin, I think it's getting more and more end game stuff with like events and stuff. But I remember there was a point in Genshin where there were like some character story quests I could have done. But like all there was to do was just like whatever event was going on and then just doing my dailies and then grinding out whatever resin I had for that day. Like that was all I could do. There was nothing else I could do. Um, and I don't know how you fix that. I don't know if I just no life to the game too hard. Uh, but it felt like kind of a brick wall. What are your thoughts on the Riot MMO they're working on? There aren't really any de details on it yet. I hope it's good. I'll probably play it. I think Riot could kill it. Uh, I know the lead dev. I don't remember what his Twitter is. He's taking a lot of... Uh, a lot of like uh, community feedback. Elden Ring has the same multiplayer concept where you can bring people to help you grind dungeons. Oh, that's what you're bringing up, Elden Ring? Well, Elden Ring, I think multiplayer is like 1% of the game. I don't think it, I'm saying Genshin needs a really good multiplayer mechanic. I don't think Elden Ring did. Did you try out the card game in Genshin? No, I didn't. They're just working towards more in-game content. Is Blue Protocol a gotcha too? I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea how you unlock characters in this game. I'm very surprised Genshin never did mounts. I don't know if they have it in their in their plans. I'm so surprised Genshin never made mounts. You seen Weathering Waves gameplay? Weathering Waves? Weathering Waves? Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, I'll watch this after. Wait, this looks kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever seen this. People just use fast travel only? Uh, not in a lot of cases. There's a lot of stuff in Genshin where it's kind of like a nuisance to climb and run around and stuff. I mean, one of the only... I, I have like 90% positive things to say about Genshin and probably 10% negative. Maybe like 85, 15. I think Genshin overall is a really good game. I put like hundreds of hours into it. It seems like I dunk on it a lot. Um, but the stamina system was so, always so, 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 so annoying. I understand stamina for fights, but I think out of combat, there shouldn't be a stamina system and it should just be like perma stamina. The world looks really pretty. It looks like, like Genshin, like upscaled. It's kind of odd. See, again, I'm getting like Sonic Frontier vibes where it's just nothingness. There's just nothing anywhere. But who knows? And they're showing a lot of like multiplayer stuff. So I'm hoping it's like, it's like leaning on multiplayer. I would just enjoy a game like this a lot more if there was a ton of like MMO elements. Well, it kind of looks like an arena. <laughs> 
dessert. The game looks huge. Like it's showing like these insanely different like areas. Insanely different. So Elden Ring did, you could sprint all you want out of combat. You also had your mountain in, 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 in Elden Ring. The new flying character is good. Oh, and Genshin, I play, I I did his trial, a uh, wanderer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Are you gonna try a how a trial high on life? I was actually gonna ask you guys uh, thoughts. I've seen a bunch of people playing it. Is it actually worth sixty dollars? It kind of looks like a forty dollar game, low key. Would you use this Fortnite? Yeah, Pilgrim's Haven. Doesn't really look like much of a haven. Dude, like this looks enormous. Like, I'm assuming you can run. This looks like Apex Legends. Did they rip this from Apex? Not worth 60, not worth it all. I think most people play it on Game Pass. Oh. Like. Running into a town like this, I would hope to hear like mute, like light music, people chitter chattering, you know what I mean? But it's just. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because this is like alpha. I'm assuming it's just because this is like alpha, but. Okay, we already saw this sort of area. I don't even know if this has a release date yet or not either. It's number one on Game Pass right now. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about High on Life. Looking for a good MMO next year. I actually think Riots will be really good. I really do. I think Riot could kill it on an MMO. I don't know if there's any others on the horizon. Chen, you guys remember Lost Ark? This kind, you know what this also looks like? This looks like the new Seven Deadly Sins game. Except the Seven Deadly Sins game is gonna be. Oh, wait, it says console. Wait, what? I thought it was only gonna be a phone game. Hang on, just a quick detour. As, as mid as I think the Seven Deadly Sins anime is, I think the game looks really fun. Or it looks clean. Looks pretty. But this is kind of the vibes I'm getting from this trailer. Right, some of us blank checking a lot of time to develop, yeah. Like years. Play high school DXD game on the DS? Absolutely not. On Tower of Fantasy, I actually never even tried Tower of Fantasy just because of how similar it was to Genshin. Chat, what's the pig's name again? Oh, wait. It made no sense. Hawk. Hawk. God damn it. That pig was so annoying. Although I watched it in dub. I think the voice was just really annoying in dub. Oh, not Hawks from MHA. Oh my god. It's annoying in sub too. I think this looks cool. It says new open world console game. I, I swear. I swear it said it was a, a mobile game at first. Am I tripping? Wasn't it a mobile game? Announced as a mobile game? Why well, these open world mobile games look the same? Man, I don't know. I don't play most of them. I don't really play mobile games though. I think it's coming to PC too. Da da da. One Piece open world MMORPG. You know why that's not a thing? Is because that would be such an absurd undertaking. Nobody wants the pressure. Okay, back to it. 
Back to it. They didn't show much gameplay. Yeah, truly. True, true, true. Aussie might be fire. I'd tell you guys on stream. Yeah, wait, I, I, I said on stream, but those that missed it, dude, I was so sad. So I can't play Odyssey, right? Because I'm, I'm, Lane said it's like current stuff. Like it's, he watched the trailers for Odyssey. So it's like basically like current One Piece stuff. I got an email that a sponsorship email to go watch and review the One Piece movie in theaters and then review the One Piece game for a sponsorship. And I can't. I had to say no. How sad is that? What a sick opportunity. And I just had to say no. I should have just watched it, dude. It just been like, yeah, I was confused the whole time, but it was pretty good, I think. <laughs> Would have been so cool. Oh, man. Okay, I see like random shiny things on the ground here and there. That's it though. See, it just looks super empty. Again, like I'm thinking like Sonic Frontiers. But I guess, like I said, it's still alpha. The world looks cool. Well, do they still pay you if you say it's bad? Yeah. They want you to be honest. I In most stuff, in most sponsors and stuff that I've done of like like uh promoting stuff or like reviewing things honestly it, they always say like be honest like about your feelings about said product or whatever like you can be honest without going overboard in terms of like if you don't like it like don't just like absolutely dunk on it you know what i mean <clears throat> what up rozo the world looks really big um i feel like with games like this like it, it's almost like a detrimental if it if it's this expansive though and it's not like compact tight and everything's like everything's locked in it's almost like too loose too loose like this is just like one giant desert it's a pretty desert but Jack the boy. how much is in it what was the thing of the follow do I some for Elgato? Because I love Elgato. I'm always honest about Elgato. Oh, chat! I mean, I I can kind of announce it. Uh, I am signing with Elgato for 2023 as well. For a second year. So, I haven't really announced it or anything. But, uh, re-signing with Elgato. Yeah, I, I'm always honest with Elgato. I think literally my only, uh... My only uh, criticism of, of Elgato is the, the software can be kind of finicky sometimes. Aside from that, dude. Oh my gosh. I use so much Elgato equipment. It's crazy. Actually, yeah. Azale, just this entire month with me getting sick has derailed a lot of things. I'm going to be honest. What is that? Is it cute? I don't think it is. <laughs> Yo, it's a massive. Those aren't very cute. Are those supposed to be cute? Customization. Listen, listen, who developed this? Guys, I'm looking to customize one thing and you know what one thing I'm talking about. Let's see it. Can I? Just tell me if I can. Just let me know. Let, let me know. <laughs> let me know if I can. Stop wasting my time. I'm trying to have a seven footer, all right? That's actually really clean though. Gradient hair? I actually I'm 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 kinda shocked. That's kinda clean. I'm kinda surprised. Looks pretty like not bare bones in terms of like hairstyles and stuff, but like nothing crazy. 
nothing like groundbreaking customization. Although the, like I said, the gradient's kind of sick. Okay. Skin tone. Jaw. Three jawline options. All right. You're not showing me what I need to see. Saturation. Oh, eye saturation. Oh, that's sick. You can change like individual eyes. Hmm. I see. Is this going to be voice? Okay, gear, I guess. Now, this kind of looks like you can like, this Loki looks like, like if you had a house. I don't know if this like pod is like an indicator that it's like your house. <laughs> I don't know if I'm over analyzing. She's got like double axes. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't seem gotcha since you have your own character. It seems more MMO-esque. So maybe it is MMO. I mean, it seems MMO. Hmm. All right, well, that is blue, blue protocol. I'm very intrigued. A beautiful cell shaded multiplayer. Oh, M. it's not massive multiplayer, but it says multiplayer online action. So MORPG, is that just like a, there's classes, five classes at launch, Blade Warden, Twin Striker, Keen Strider, Spellweaver, Foe Breaker. Uh, using echoes during combat, players can summon the power of echoes, spiritual remnants of mystical creatures. Players can enjoy all of blue Protocol's story alone or with others with group content, including fields and dungeons for up to six players and epic raids for larger groups so raids for more than six players gameplay can also trigger rare open world bosses that bring together players from across the map to take down for loot players during they encounter characters who eliminate the history of regnos and guide them as they face on powerful foes so yeah we'll see how good it is looks interesting i don't think there's a release date or anything but i will try to keep up to date with uh, news and stuff on it so we'll see